The Rockefeller Center is the headquarters of NBC, one of the main networks in the US. And you can come along to get free tickets to one of the late night chat shows, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. And it is recorded right in here, along with some of the other major shows that are broadcast on NBC, such as Saturday Night Live. Radio City Music Hall is right behind us and it is home to the Rockettes which perform here every Christmas. So if you come to New York around Christmas and visit the Rockefeller Center, you will see the fabulous Christmas tree that adorns the area. And it is usually filled from somewhere across the United States. Um, it's selected well in advance. And isn't it lit up around Thanksgiving time or is it just after Thanksgiving? I think just after, I think just after that. So late November and it remains here until the first week of January. Now there are also a parade of angels, not real ones of course, <laughs> <laughs> no little statuettes that are all lit up and they are outside the Rockefeller Center as well at Christmas time. This is where the famous ice skating rink is based at Rockefeller Center. In the summer months, it becomes a roller skating rink. as well as the Tonight Show, there is also the Today Show and it is also broadcast live every day between, is it 7 and 10? From the, I think so. Yeah, from the Rockefeller Center and it goes across uh, the East Coast live and then it's recorded when it is shown on the West Coast. Now you can come to visit because I think they used to call this the window in the world or something, um, but the studios are right behind us and so if you're walking around here in the morning um, you could wave in and find yourself on national television. During July and August and maybe even into a little bit of September, every Friday, NBC runs a series of concerts. Summer now, concerts. Uh, uh, summer, well, yes, well, those are summer <laughs> months, my dear, aren't they? And we came to one many years ago to see Avril Lavigne. 
And I can remember that we ended up, we followed her and her band the whole way around oh so, Soho. And we went, um, she was like walking around a flea market. But it's a great way to come and see some of the biggest stars singing for free. I'm sure they've had Harry Styles here. I'm sure they've had Ed Sheeran here. Um, and you can just wander around and be up close and personal with huge celebrities. Thanks for watching the show today. Now, don't forget to please subscribe. Okay, so we are taking the PATH train to New Jersey. So we are here at World Trade Center and, and we, we are, are taking it one stop to, to, to exchange place. Move your finger, Paul. The maximum change is nine dollars. So you've got to be very careful what you put in. <laughs> you got singles. I think so. So we are going to attempt to purchase a ticket for the path. Now we have come to the only machine that accepts bills. Okay, the previous person has finished it, okay. It takes quite a time for the machine to reset. Start. Seems. English. This one. Cash. <laughs> and you're going to put in a five, okay? And it goes. Get your change. This is the reason that we have come to New Jersey because from over here you get the best view of Manhattan, don't you Paul? Yes, this is a fabulous view of Lower Manhattan. And of course you can take in all the sights and sounds, the helicopters and everything. How far away from Manhattan are we actually Paul? A few kilometers I would say because I don't I am really not good with the math, so I'm not gonna humiliate myself by saying so. And we've only taken one stop on the PATH train from World Trade Center to Exchange Place. And you just get out of the station and you turn left and you will have this absolutely fantastic view along the promenade. This is the financial center of New Jersey. I think 
it's one of the financial centers. Oh, I didn't know that. So there you go. And perhaps you will spend some money while you are here as well in one of the promenade restaurants. Thank you for watching our show today. You must be liking it so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe. This is Japan Village. It is in the industry part of Brooklyn because there were all warehouses and things like that at some point in the past. So let's have a look to see what has changed. This is like Japan Center or something. Japan Village indeed. There's so much to look at, so much that you want to buy. I f I'm feeling rather overwhelmed, I think. I want to buy a lot of these things, but sadly, I only have a suitcase and not possible. Maybe some of these ambient type stuff. Look at all these different meats. It's unbelievable. Okay, this is what I got at the Japan Center. It is a frozen waffle, frozen wafer sandwich with matcha flavor. Yummy, it tastes like green tea. All right, bye for now. So we are having the lemongrass kosh and the happy little galaxies. Yep, this is gonna keep me nice and happy. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the URL for our show. Why don't you just Google it? Okay, folks, we are coming across Westfield. Yes, you heard. 
Yes, you heard me correctly. It's Westfield at the World Trade Center. This isn't only in London or the UK anymore. So we are going to do maybe a little retail therapy or something like that to escape the heat. So why don't we go in and check out what's in store. Oh look, this is the store Italy. We have one of those at Liverpool Street. I wonder whether they have the same things on offer. I forgot what this mall is called. So I think I will just take you around. I think this might still be Westfield, but I'm not quite sure. So yeah, there's plenty to eat and do down here as well. Look, there's Aunt Annie's. Auntie Anne, sorry. There might be Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't know. So there's the path train straight ahead. And then there's like a place that does cocktail stuff. Charles Tewitt. Uh, what else is there? There's Swatch. There's Kiehl's, there's Sensation Eyes, there's Rituals, NYC Culture Club. Briggs and Rodney. I don't recall whether all these places were here the last time that I came. Probably not. I'm sure they get refreshed every so often and come and go, Ooh, look at this creature. I can't even say what this is. It's quite interesting. It's a dog of some sorts. This has a feel similar to Canary Wharf, which is, it's underground, you do stay cooler, and you are able to do a bit of walkabout without coming into contact with the harsh sunshine. And over here you see the brand Kohlhaan which does footwear. Oh, and here is Kate Spade. So I think this part of the mall is called Oculus. Have you been here before, Marcus? It wasn't open like this before. No. It wasn't? No. This was not here. Look, Apple Store. Apple's everywhere though, so it's not really that new, is it? I think they'd only opened a small part of it. This is quite fancy. This World Trade Center connects many different stops such as the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, C, J, Z. This is a massive. I've only been here once and this was back in 2018. So things have changed a lot since that time. There's also the PATH train straight ahead. Apple, which I said earlier, Boss, and lots of luxury retail outlets, which I can't afford, but hey. So we are going to go towards the subway station now and take a ride a bit further uptown. The building right above should be one World Trade Center. This place is an architectural masterpiece. It lets the light in and then it also 
it gives it an airiness and a freshness to it so you aren't really overcome by any heat that's outside so this is definitely a magnificent this is definitely a magnificent place to cool down really on such a hot summer scorcher like today